Netflix kitchen. I'm going to show you how to cook your steak perfectly. So I've got two beautiful eight ounce steaks here from Lionel Hunt Butcher on Front Street in Sacriston. Really, really nice marbling. Got a nice layer of fat on the outside, so these should be absolutely perfect. I've just got them on a plate here, because I'm going to bring them up to room temperature before I cook them. This is very, very important also, because if your steak comes straight out of the fridge and into the pan, you won't get a nice cook on it, because it's not allowed to be able to cook properly and get that heat to the inside to the degree that you want it. So you must bring your meat to room temperature before you cook it. So the best way to tell how your steak is cooking when it's in the pan is to use your hand, believe it or not. And you're going to use your finger to press the meat and then we're going to press our thumb, that padded part of our thumb at the bottom, to check how that steak's cooked. So if you press it now, that's how a rare steak will feel. You put your forefinger and thumb together and press it again. That's medium rare and go down your fingers, medium, medium well and well done. You feel that part of your thumb tense up each time you actually move it down the fingers. So that's how it's going to feel every time that the, the steak moves on another degree. But when you're cooking also, you need to take the steak out of the pan the step before you would like it. Because if you want a medium rare steak, you will take the steak out of the pan at rare. If you want a medium steak, you take the, pan out the, the steak out of the pan at medium rare. Because you need to let the steak rest, but the residual heat that's in the steak is going to carry on that steak cooking to the next degree. This is the problem that sometimes people face. They get the steak to where they want it in the pan at medium rare or medium. But once they've taken that out, it will carry on cooking and then that steak overcooks for them. So we're ready to cook our steaks now. They're coming to room temperature. So we're going to get them into the pan and cook them now. So let's do that. So we need to get the pan on as high heat as possible and get it really, really hot. Hence the reason why I'm having to shout a little bit because I've got the extraction on here in the background and um, because it's going to be quite, um, quite greasy. There's been quite a lot of um, moisture coming off this and it's to go out up the extraction rather than into the kitchen. So let's turn this gas up and get it as hot as possible. This pan needs to be really, really hot. Also the steaks, I'm going to season with salt and pepper outside the pan and then lay them into the pan in a nice little bit of oil. So let's season the steaks. A good liberal seasoning of salt. And then a good liberal a bit of black pepper on there as well. Lots of chefs cook steaks in different ways. This is my way. I'm not saying it's the right way or the wrong way. It's my way. So a little bit of oil in the pan. Into that I'm going to add two cracked cloves of garlic. So I've still got the peel on the garlic. I'm just going to put the garlic into the pan. I want to get this pan smoking hot, like really, really hot. Because when the steaks go into the pan, the pan will cool down. So the hotter the pan is to start with, the better the finished product we're going to get. So the pan's now smoking hot, I'm going to lay the steaks in. what I'm looking for, that loud searing noise that's going on in there now. Keep it on full, if you want the heat to cook as quickly as possible, and give the steak some really nice colour. I like to leave my steaks on one side for a good couple of minutes before turning them over. Turning them over in the pan too often does not allow them to get that nice caramelised golden brown colour on one side. You need to put them in the pan and leave them alone for a couple of minutes on one side first. So I'm going to have a look and I'm going to turn these now. And you can see they've got a nice golden brown caramelised coloration on them, which is going to give it a good flavour to the steak as well. There's nothing worse than having like a foiled steak with no colour on it, and it's overcooked as well, which is even worse. So here's where the hand comes into it, guys. Here's where the pressing comes in. So I'm just going to press the flesh, press the, the steak, and I'm going to find out what that feels like on my thumb there. So I'm going to press it. 
I'm going to say that's about rare at the moment. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take those steaks out of the pan because I want to rest them to medium rare. Resting the meat after cooking it is a massively important part of the, the whole process of cooking a piece of meat because it's, it's a muscle technically. So once you've cooked it, if you were to put your hand over an open flame, your hand would contract and pull away from that flame. That's exactly the same as what the meat's wanting to do because it's a muscle. So what you want to do is once you remove the muscle from the heat, your hand would relax again and go back to normal because it's nowhere near the heat anymore. It's exactly the same as what um, a steak does once you've taken it off the heat, it relaxes goes back to the way it was before you started cooking it, makes it more tender because those tendons in there aren't all shriveled up and hunched up together, they actually relax and go back and, and it allows the juices to go through the meat really, really nicely again, gives you a pink colour all the way through rather than just in the very, very centre. If you get a piece of um, steak or a piece of lamb or anything in a restaurant and it's tough, there's two reasons for that. It's either not a very good quality piece of meat or the chef hasn't cooked it and rested it properly in the first place. Um, so a really good tip for a tender steak at the end of the cooking process is to allow it to rest. So let's see how we're doing. Our steaks have been resting for about 10 minutes now, so let's bring them over. So as you can see, they're cooked really nicely. So Louise and I are going to have a really nice treat for tea tonight. We're going to have sirloin steak cooked medium rare with dauphinois potatoes and glazed green beans.